on products you don't need or need. Did I get it? So can anyone relate to this? You fixed yourself a hot cup of coffee or tea, leave it to cool, get distracted by a million different things, and come back to a cold cup? This is a mug warmer that turns on the moment you set your beverage down. It has different settings and heats up to 167 degrees Fahrenheit. It can warm all sorts of cups and mugs and keep your drinks warm for hours. So what do you think? Is this something you need or don't? The products you need or don't, this is part 182 of 365. So we decided to upgrade our old switch lights to these. The installation instructions were simple, and you can now control the switch light from your phone from wherever you are, or using Alexa. Turn on the dining room light. Okay. You can buy them in a pack of three, which is great for the away mode, so you can have lights going off and on when you're not home for added security products you need or don't thank you to mark from Oberhausen, in germany for this one this portable mini fridge is simply awesome you can use it to keep up to six cans cool to 32 degrees fahrenheit which also makes it perfect for your skin and beauty care essentials or your baby food you can also plug it into a car outlet so you can enjoy cold drinks on the road it also has a heating element that will keep your favorite food warm up to 150 degrees fahrenheit so do you think this is a must-have or not products you need or don't i have two finds for you guys today if you have a few alexa or google home devices throughout your home this outlet shelf could come in handy just remove your current outlet cover and install the shelf we've also placed one in the bathroom to have a place for our electric toothbrush and if you're a bit tight on space in your bedroom this bed shelf you could also be a solution it installs to your bed frame very easily and it's sturdy enough to place all of your bedside essentials Okay, okay, if you're asking if it was a necessary purchase, uh, I don't really have an answer for you, buddy. But if you're asking if I think everybody on this planet just needs one of them, the answer's a little obvious. So I've shared a ton of stuff with you in the last six months, and here are my favorite top 10. At number 10, these collapsible funnels from part 7. I just love how these store away really nicely. Next, this moonlight. Great nightlight for our baby. No need to look for a switch. Just tap. This sideways outlet is super practical. We have ours behind the baby change table. This steering wheel tray is so simple, but so practical. Next, the popcorn maker. It's fantastic. I use it way too often. The eye massager. Love this one. Puts me to sleep in no time. The battery jump starter is great. You can jump start your car without needing anyone's help. And the top 3. The stationary vacuum is awesome we can sweep up our mess in no time and number two the heated jacket wear it all the time really makes a difference in the winter and at number one the wide rear view mirror so you can see your blind spots took me a couple days to get used to but i absolutely love the thing but the last thing i want to say is thank you guys so much for the support it's been great connecting with everyone from all over the world and i know 2020 has been a very interesting year to say the least but i do wish you and your families a happy new year and all the best wishes in 2021 Amazon products you need or don't, this is part 208 of 365. This gadget has features that will take your videos to another level. Place your phone inside, turn it on, and the gimbal will completely stabilize your phone so you can record smooth video footage everywhere you go. Not only that, you can also control the zoom feature and create motion time lapses. Its tracking feature will follow you any direction you go. And the sport mode ensures your footage will be stable even in the most bumpy of circumstances. Here's the footage without it and a recording with it. So what do you think? Is this a useful find or not? Products you need or don't, this is part 186 of 365. So anyone else hate this sound? We picked up these soft closed door dampers to help eliminate this problem. You may need to use the spacer and simply screw in the damper on the hinge side. And now when you close your cabinet, instead of hearing this, you'll hear this. So what do you think? Are these useful or not? products you need or don't this is part 213 of 365 this automatic pan steer is meant to help you out in your kitchen it stirs so you don't have to you can use it to stir things like your soup sauces and gravy if you don't want to have to stand there and constantly stir this could come in handy three speed options and it has a built-in timer too so what do you guys think of this one Amazon products you need or don't this is part 218 of 365. This is a coat hanger that does one little thing others don't. It can blow both cold air and hot air and it's supposed to dry your clothes more quickly. I took a bucket of water, drenched my shirt, and gave it a good ring. So let's see how this thing does. And after some time you have yourself a dry shirt. So I'm curious what do you guys think of this one? 
the products you need or don't valentine's day edition this is an adjustable bathtub tray made of high quality bamboo it has space for everything that is needed for a relaxing evening there's a built-in holder for a glass of your favorite vino an adjustable holder for your tablets you can watch your favorite movies or tv shows another space for your favorite scented candle or cup of coffee an additional tray to hold anything you'd like and of course there's a holder for your cell phone as well the tray is also ideal for reading and enjoying an evening snack could make for the ideal valentine's day gift but is this something you need or don't oh my god what is that oh my god what is that Part 219, I have two finds today. Anyone else guilty of this? This is an aluminum wallet from Exter. Press the side trigger and you pop out your cards for easy access. It has RFID technology to ensure your cards are safe. There's a money band for your cash and a metal back plate for additional cards and this. This tracker card add-on essentially makes your wallet unlosable. Your phone gets pinged if you step too far away and the map shows the location of where you last had your wallet. The wallet could also go great with this laptop sleeve that can also hold your tablet and other essentials. So what do you think? Is this something you need or don't? Things off of Kickstarter you just might need. The average American spends $1,300 a year on food that goes to waste. Introducing Sealvax, the world's first reusable food bag with portable vacuum sealing technology. With your food inside, connect Sealvax to the reusable bag, power it 100% with your mobile device, and the vacuuming process is completed almost immediately, allowing your banana to last three to four times longer than it normally would. So what do you guys think? Useful invention or not? Amazon products you need or don't, this is part 227 of 365. This may look like a regular doorstop, but place it on the floor, and every time the door is opened, the doorstop does this. You can turn it off and on so it can work like a regular doorstop, and there are different volume levels to choose from as well. Could be great for people living alone or for anyone who needs to travel, and with some double-sided tape, you can even place it on your windows. So what do you think? Is this something you need or don't? The products you need or don't, this is part 231 of 365. Anyone else hate when this happens? You're about to open a new jar of your favorite peanut butter, but you first have to deal with that awful layer of top oil. You grab a butter knife to stir everything back in, but you inevitably make a mess of your countertop. So instead, you could use this. This is a peanut butter stirring crank. Place it inside your jar and stir, and you'll thoroughly mix the jar from top to bottom, giving you perfectly mixed peanut butter every single time. The crank comes with a scraping card. Slide the crank through the card's hole, and you've just made cleanup that much easier without wasting any nut butter. So what do you think? Is it something you need or don't? Amazon products you need or don't, this is part 224 of 365. So I recently picked up these. I placed some marks, drilled some holes, and then screwed in these screws. And once installed, you now have an extra door lock that can withstand 800 pounds of force. They come in a pack of two, so one could potentially be placed on your fridge as well. The locks have a safety on it, so you don't have to worry about your kids locking you out. To lock it, just pull and push it over. So what do you think? Is this something you need or don't? Amazon products you need or don't, this is part 252 of 365. Anyone else find this annoying? You're about to have a glass of your favorite Coke, so you go to the freezer to grab some ice. You move around the tray a bit to loosen it up, smack it down on the countertop, but you inevitably get more ice cubes than you actually need. And when you're down to your last cube, getting it out is next to impossible. This ice cube tray eliminates this problem. The bottom of each ice cube holder is made of silicone, so you can easily press out each of the ice cubes. They come in a pack of four, so you can stack them and not worry about water spilling out. So I just discovered these. I thought the design was very smart, but what do you think? Are these useful or not? Some products you need or don't, this is part 228 of 365. Here's another hack to convince you to get rid of your plastic bags for good. The next time you're out shopping for groceries, just put everything directly into the cart as you normally would. When you get to the counter, unload everything as always, but instead of bagging it, put everything right back into the cart. Pass by everyone else that's still bagging the old-fashioned way, and when you get back to your car, you could have two laundry baskets waiting to be filled, except they do take up quite a bit of space and maybe someone back home is looking to wash their stuff, so instead, you could use this. This is a collapsible storage bin that when folded up takes up very little space. Place them side by side, fold them up and out, and you can now load up to 100 pounds directly into each of the bins. And when you do get back home, simply carry everything inside. So are these a useful find or not?
With the products you need or don't, this is part 243 of 365. This is a two-in-one cutting board and knife. And it just might become your handiest kitchen tool. It works great for slicing veggies into your salad or into your soup. And you can use it to chop up your fruits as well. This would be great for a picnic or if you're stuck in traffic and looking to make a quick meal. And it cleans up easily in the dishwasher. So let everyone know what you think. Is this useful or not? Those are products you need or don't. This is part 245 of 365. So we are all pretty glued to our phones, right? Well, you can now consume all of your content hands-free. Introducing the Tech Neck Hands-Free Device Collar. Simply strap it around your neck, place your phone inside, and you can now consume all of your content with both hands free. It's ideal for when you're in the kitchen, exercising, changing diapers, or even when you're driving. Amazon products you need or don't, this is part 249 of 365. So how often have you had this happen? You head out dressed for cool weather, but as the day progresses and the sun comes out, you begin to heat up. You could place your sweater around your waist like a fanny pack, go for that yacht club look, or perhaps place it over your shoulder until it's time to pick something up. This hoodie does one thing others don't. Flip it upside down, reach in, grab and pull, and your hoodie turns into a fully functional backpack. There's space for things like another sweater or your water bottle and a small pocket for things like your phone and keys. Tighten the straps and your backpack stays tight to your body so you can continue to be active. And if the temperature cools again, remove your stuff, reach in, pull, and you can now be warm again. So what do you think? Is this a useful find or not? This is part 235 of 365. Here's a storage hack if you have way too many photos in your iPhone and often receive this dreaded message. This is a lightning to SD card reader. Take an SD card and insert it. Open files. Find your SD card and make a folder. Select your photos and videos. Go save to files and save them into the folder you created. You can now go back and delete old photos on your iPhone. So how many photos do you currently have? Amazon products you need or don't, this is part 252 of 365. Anyone else find this annoying? You're about to have a glass of your favorite Coke, so you go to the freezer to grab some ice. You move around the tray a bit to loosen it up, smack it down on the countertop, but you inevitably get more ice cubes than you actually need. And when you're down to your last cube, getting it out is next to impossible. This ice cube tray eliminates this problem. The bottom of each ice cube holder is made of silicone, so you can easily press out each of the ice cubes. They come in a pack of four, so you can stack them and not worry about water spilling out. So I just discovered these. I thought the design was very smart, but what do you think? Are these useful or not? Things you didn't know you needed off Amazon, part six. This is our portable blender. We love this, especially when we're on our way to work after our workout and we need our protein shakes. So let me show you how it works.